This year sees the 10th anniversary of SOFIA, the Skills Framework for the Information Age. This provides a common reference model to identify the skills needed for effective IT management. But where does SOFIA's greatest value lie for its practitioners? We're here at the 2010 SOFIA conference to find out. The adoption of SOFIA was linked to us moving to generic role profiles. Previously we had job specific job descriptions and that really was limited the flexibility of moving people around the organisation. Right. That was the key driver for us. The thing about SOFIA is it's uh, written in such a way, it's a language which anyone, whether they're in the IT industry or outside of it, can understand. It's now an internationally used framework, so it means that what they can do, you can define all your IT skills, not down to the product level, but more of a generalistic level, like networking rather than Citrix, etc. That means that people inside or outside of IT can understand more about what that IT professional person needs. There is no, no one global framework. CompTIA as an association operates globally. There is no one global framework where employers can uh, recognise and understand what skills they need for specific jobs to benchmark and measure people. The SOFIA framework does that. And that's why CompTIA is so keen to partner with SOFIA to take the framework not just here nationally, but overseas internationally. We've got 570 courses, all of which could be relevant in some ways. Now, the only way to make some sense out of that is by using a framework like SOFIA to actually identify which ones are most relevant for IT professionals. It is essential to have a common understanding of competencies so that you can develop professionalism in the IT profession. Yes, aligning the available skills to the needs of the business is very important to us, particularly as we entered the recession and we restructured the governance of our skills, putting um, lead practitioners at the centre of this and Sophia was really the glue that held it all together for us. Sophia is a very convenient way to organise, you know, we need to figure out organisation in the profession. Mm -hmm. So let's just use Sophia, it works. If you can start defining in words and a language that people can generally understand, most people understand networking, most people understand a PC, most, un pe most people will understand the word system. They won't understand ERP or Citrix necessarily. So by using a language that they can define, that starts to bring IT back up the agenda again yep. to the place where it deserves to be and needs to be for a successful organisation. I talked today, James, about professions where you have to be certified in order to practice, like flying an aircraft, surgeons, dentists, architects and so on. Technology is not quite there yet, although many employers do only hire people that are certified with a certification from maybe Cisco or Microsoft or CompTIA that that company is familiar with or, or perhaps uses it to benchmark for workforce development. And there's an interesting analogy here from medicine that if someone's treating you for a medical condition, they don't use their personal 10 years experience to treat you. They've used a body of knowledge that the profession has built up over 20, 30 years and are all of the profession all the people in that organisation. So your advice as a medical profession, professional is based on the body of knowledge. We don't do that in IT. It really helps to define their role, the individual's role within the organisation and what the organisation wants them to achieve. In a, in a standard, objective way. And they can, the individual can look at it from an external perspective as well and compare themselves against the external market. And we're quite happy for them to do that. I'm uh, Arnold Oskam, I'm Dutch, but I'm actually uh, living in Chile. I've been living 13 years there now. And uh, now I'm running a management uh, consulting company together with my partner. He's also here at the conference and uh, we're visiting today this Sphere conference with one of our clients, uh, University in a Cup. So uh, taking the time to, uh, to be here because this is uh, where Sphere is happening and uh, we want to be part of it because we see large opportunities in Latin America. For now uh, we're the only formal partner uh, of Sphere but we are promoting uh, uh, also a university, um, Universidad Federico Santa Maria in ACAP to become Sphere partners because they're introducing Sphere as part of the curriculum because they're redesigning the curriculum around uh, FIA skill framework. So uh, actually they're already on the line uh, and uh, that's one of the discussions we had to, 
also here with uh, we're presenting in a cup to uh, Mike Bridgefoot and uh, the Sphere organization today. BA's adoption of Sphere is across the whole IT function, which is global. Predominantly our IT function is based in the UK. But we're moving into a merger with um, Iberia, mm -hmm. and that's an exciting thing for us. We wait and see. Um, I've just been told Sophia is available in Spanish now, so we'll see where that takes us.